everyone, it's me, Charm Girl 98 and today I have another craft update because I've been making a lot of polymer clay charms lately. Ah! So I don't really have anything else but polymer clay charms and these little, like, thingy majiggers. I'll show you those last, though, because they're not that great, so. Um. Yeah, so first I'll show you the... Um, I have, like, a bunch of realistic charms, because, um, I don't know, I just wanted to take a break from, like, you know, quiet, like, just ones with faces and stuff, so, uh, I made a bunch of, uh, things that are, like, realistic, and so I'll show you those really quick, I'm just getting them all here. Okay. So first I made two things on woodsies. Um, so I'll show you those first. So first thing I made are these tacos with chips and salsa. So the salsa is made with little pieces of polymer clay, red and green polymer clay in a little polymer clay bowl with um glaze that has a uh, um chalk added to it or pastels. And then these are the little tortilla chips and they have some of the salsa over them. And then here are the tacos, and I put pepper in the taco shells, in the clay to make it look like the tacos, but the, the pepper wasn't very coarse, so it didn't really turn out, but that's okay. I, I followed Tony Ellison's tutorial on this, and I think it turned out super duper cute. And then I made this cake, this heart cake with roses on it, and it's textured, the white, or actually, you know, it's ecru, but... It looks like white. So this is what it looks like, and it's really shiny. So, um, yep. Okay, next I made three whipped cream dollops with strawberry cane in them. So, here they are. And they are polymer clay. I just used the, um... Oh, it looks like the strawberry broke on that one. Okay, I don't know where it went. Oh well. Um, anyway, so this is what they look like. They got jostled a little bit, so they probably broke. Um, anyway, so, uh, um, these were made out of polymer clay. I just took an icing tip, and I pushed the clay through it, and then added a little tan slice. Okay, next I made two more tacos, but I actually made these into charms. And I used coarser pepper, so it actually worked, and I think it turned out pretty cool. And it's textured, so I think they turned out pretty cool because they look like real taco shells. So, and then this is what they look like. And they look pretty realistic to me. So they've got, like, meat, lettuce, tomatoes, and cheese on them. Ah, and they're really cute. Then I made a pizza following Fimo Chu's tutorial, and I think it turned out really cool. This is what it looks like. And it's got like herbs, uh, pepperoni, uh, black olives, and sausage on it. And it's actually kind of layered because of the cheese and stuff, so. And then. Here are the two slices that came off. And, um, if you want to learn how to make this, go to Female Chew's channel, and she has a really great tutorial on it. So, yeah, and I know a, a lot of people have made this, but I like how it turned out. <laughs> so, yep. Okay, and then I made two slices of cake. I made this one, which isn't that great, but it's still pretty cute. And then I made this one, which I just love, 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 because I followed Tony Ellison's tutorial. I really like Tony Ellison's channel. You should go check her channel out. She's really great at polymer clay. So I you, you made this following her tutorial, and I was just so happy by how it turned out because I usually suck at making cakes. So, yep. And then I made this bun just randomly out of scrap clay. And then I made four donut charms. I made this one. Let's see. Yep. 
and it's got the real donut inside, or the don't not real donut, the donut inside, and it's textured. And then it's textured on the top too, the chocolate. And then it's got like dark chocolate frosting. Then I made a powdered donut, and I think this one turned out pretty cool. Um, it's really really textured, not on the bottom though. And then it's got the donut inside. Then I made this little flower donut with little um, pink sprinkles, and it's really shiny. And then I made this like eclair-like donut with with strawberry filling and pink sprinkles. And then I made some polymer clay bowls, like the one for the salsa, because they're really handy if you're making like things on woodsies. So I made some white ones. And some translucent ones. So, yep. Then I made a calcifer. And I got this idea from XOX Rufus. And I know a couple people have made this. I think maybe Max Dermuch made one too. Okay, and then I made this little Sanix character. And he's this little fishy. And he's from um, this mat that I have. This placemat that I do clay on. Uh, let's get it. He's this dude. So. so I think he turned out pretty cute. His mouth annoys me a little bit though, but he's still pretty cute. Okay, then I tried to make another Doriaki and it did not work out uh, so ugly. Um then I made two Starbucks. And by the way, I haven't glazed these new charms yet. These charms, like these ones, the bowls, um the Doriaki. Or the next one I'm going to show you, so I'll glaze those soon, and, or the tacos. But I, I've glazed everything else, as you can see. So, And I made these two Starbucks. And I didn't want to put the label on because, um, copyright and stuff, so. I made a strawberry one, and a chocolate one. And I think these turned out pretty cute. And then, lastly, I made this, ah, salmon roll one. Because, um... Um, the real chip status, I'm going to be trading with you, as you know, so I put everything in your package already. I haven't put your address on yet, because I don't know it yet, but I put my address on. So this is how big it is. This is, like, the biggest package I think I've sent, sent out yet, because I usually send out, send out, like, ones that are this big, which are very small, but, yeah, pretty big, so. Anyway, now the last thing that I made are these little hot glue gun eyes. And you can use them on, like, everything, like plushies and, like, all sorts of stuff. You just need to, um, like, super glue or hot glue them on again. I don't know if hot glue would work again, but... Or you could just use E6000 or something. But, like, there's a bunch of eyes and there's some mouths and stuff, too. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. And, um... Yep. And I saw these on eBay. Someone was making them and selling them. And so I was like, I want to try that, and so I did. And I think I've seen a couple people do it on YouTube, but I don't know who, so. Yep, um, that's my charm update and craft update, I guess. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye!